that fourth quarter? Yeah, I mean, that was key. We missed uh, some early on, and in our second game against them, we were like six for 16 from the line, so we knew, and we talked a lot about it this week, like especially the front end of one, one on ones, how important they were, and, and the kids really took that to heart and sort of stepped up to the line in the fourth quarter and buried some, some really big shots. There's a common cliche that us sports writers like to throw around. It's tough to beat a team three times. What have you seen them do adjustment-wise in the three matchups that you've played Freedom over the years, like or over this year? What have they done different since every single time? Uh, I really, I mean, I think they just, they, they play hard and they play tough. Um, I mean, it was basically what we knew they were going to do, a 2-1-2 two, two, back to an extended 2-3. Um, you know, I, I give them kudos to... The offensive boards up there were getting was what was killing us really the most. Um, we wanted to get out and transition a little bit, and we weren't we weren't getting the offensive boards for sure. I think we had given up 12 in the first half, um, so that was really more of an issue. I mean, I give them all the credit in the world. They're competitors. They came out. They played hard. Um, I don't think they did anything different. I just think that that's the way they play, and they stuck to their game plan and, and were successful, you know, doing that. You guys were in this spot last year in a similar position on a team that you had beaten twice in the regular season, and they get you in the championship. So knowing the history that was going into this game, I mean, did you, did you feel the similarities as this game was coming down to the wire and just wanted to make sure that you guys got it done this time? I would say that as a team, we just knew we had to go in confident and just stay poised on the court no matter what was going on during the game. We just stayed together as a team and rode it out till the end. So, Coach, we talked earlier in the week, and you mentioned the injuries at the positions and kind of what it t it's taken you guys to get here. What resiliency have you seen from these girls and how did that kind of factor in tonight? Um, you know, we've, we've talked about it. It's it's uh, what they've gone through and what they've had to um, adjust to um, with the injuries and the next person and people out of position, right? I mean, we're putting Daisha in the post some today. You know, we have putting people all over the place just trying to make different things work and they've bought into it and they're doing whatever needs to be done. Whatever my role is right now, this is what I'm gonna do. And I, I just think they've they've just shown some unbelievable you know fierceness in the face of adversity. You know, it's it's hard when your teammates go down in front of you, right? And you see that and and you know our hearts go out to them, but we also know how they would change in a heartbeat to be on that floor. So we owe it to them to, to go out and, and make sure we play hard for them and you know um I just give our girls a ton of credit because this is not the team we started with and we've had, you know, we had a couple growing pains, but I think the strength of our schedule and them just wanting to win, right? Them just wanting to win and being flexible in, in the face of adversity just has, has been great. And when we've asked people to fill roles, we've asked Anastasia to fill a role, we've asked Caitlin to fill a role, we've asked Karis to fill a role, Anna Waskowitz is playing the post at 5-7, you know, they just do it. They just do it, and that's that's the difference. There's no like, oh, well, I'm supposed to be shooting hard. I'm supposed to be here. They're just they're just going in and getting it done. Anastasia, how hard have these last few days been for you, and how special does it feel for you to come out here and get the chance to play in a championship game and score again and, and help your team win and hold that trophy? Um, these last like couple of days have been hard, not only just mentally but physically for my mom in that situation. But it's been nice having a team that is willing to, if it's drive an hour, to come to the funeral or just text me or calls or even on the court picking up. So it's been really special to me to see that I have a team that can pick me up and be there for me like that. Was there ever any question in mind whether you were going to play in the semifinal or here today? Yeah, no, there was never a question. You think it's what your mom would have wanted to see you do, go out there and score and hold the trophy out there? Uh, yes, most definitely. That's one of the things she told me before she did pass. She told me that she wanted me to be on the court, and the court's my home, and especially, and they're my family, so, yeah, it is what she wanted me to do. Molly, what was it like to see her come out here again and show on that? I, I was there this morning, and it was a beautiful tribute to, it was to her mom. this morning? Yeah, it was this morning, and, I, and it was a beautiful tribute, and I was struggling, and Anastasia has shown, like, I can't say enough how amazing, I mean, she has been. And, um, you know, we talked about it. And mom was Jennifer Peterson. What better place than Jennifer Peterson, Peterson Event Center to win for her and Anastasia. And I just, uh, I can't say enough. The girls have been really great because it's, it's, it hasn't just been this, it's been ongoing, right? It's been an ongoing and her teammates have supported her. And um, they just have just been there for her the whole time. And, and Anastasia has just done an amazing job being able to, to balance it and just focus and be there. And that, that 
shot tonight was huge. We really we needed that. There was a huge shot that we needed, and uh, I, I just am super proud of her. Elena, you were the leading scorer on the team again, 15 tonight, just a sophomore, but get to, you know, wear your first gold medal after the silver medal last year, so how does it feel to, to finally get the chance to be a champion and have such a big role in it? Um, it's definitely very great. I mean, I love this team and my family. I'm with them every day for a long amount of time, so it's always fun to be with people that you love to be with and you want to have fun with and work hard and win, so it was just a cherry on top to win today. Molly, for you, number 10 all time in your career. You're now the first woman and only the second girls coach ever with 10 titles. Is that something you ever dreamed of or imagined would happen one day? No. No, and I didn't even, I, it sounds obnoxious, but I, this 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 last couple of weeks have been like a, a roller coaster. I just, I, this is one of the most special ones. It's just this season has been, it's been hard in a good way, but it has been, you know, and I'm just, we all needed it. We all needed it, and uh, I think that they earned it. And um, you know, my goal was always to make Coach Morris proud. And you know, he always, he always would write me cards and say, "No one remembers second place, mommy." And I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> so you just, you know, as part of honoring him and honoring the program, of, and, and it's the it's the kids. You know, you're only as good as 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 what you have to work with. And and we've got a, a great group of kids. So this is super special. I, I can't say enough about this one um, and how much it meant. And you're one away from tying him now. You uh, have a special message for him whenever you do, maybe? Uh... <laughs> well, he's, he passed away a couple oh, years ago. Nice. Yeah, so no. <laughs> I will not. Uh, no, you know, no. He's, he's a great guy. He's a great guy. And I guess where do you go from here now that you're back on top but you still got states to refocus for? And, uh, I mean, it, some teams wait a long time to go between championships, but it probably felt like a long time, even though it was just one year last year. But do you feel like now you're able to refocus, and even though you're here, you're not satisfied yet? It felt like an eternity. This Today's game felt like an eternity. <laughs> so, I mean, we're going to enjoy tonight. We're going to go back to North. We're going to ring the bell. We're going to celebrate. Uh, we're going to take a day off tomorrow, and then we're going to refocus for our opponent on Tuesday. Um, you know, uh, we... We had, my dad had t-shirts made up, unfinished business, and that's just, a, that's a catch-all for a lot of things. And um, from the get-go, these girls have had big aspirations, and, and that's what we're going to, that's what we're aiming for. All right. All right.